All right, let's just get started. So, this is the piece I'm gonna try to see what I can do with today. And Firefox Girl wanted me to mainly focus on anatomy and lightning. So, that's what I'm gonna do. But first, first off, I think I'm just gonna make it small, just make sure with the composition. point across like it's fine for image to be like tall and narrow it's just like the character was just a bit too close to the edge there actually I think it actually could be stretched just a tiny bit more do you ever sit around and wish that you could change the way you look at how you dress or how you feel do you ever wish that you could be somebody else? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, chances are, chances are, you want to find one of us. Who are we? Where are the dreamers and believers and the thinkers and the feelers? So don't Sorry, Alright. See? Obviously all this looks weird right now, but I feel like it's made a change for the better if it was done like properly and not just a quick fix like this. Let's first take a look at the anatomy then. First off, 
like in general the anatomy doesn't look that bad like maybe a bit stiff but not bad but I'll think I'll just kind of go through it the whole thing and draw on top of it to see what I would do to improve it First off, the place where I think that's maybe most need of fixing is the head. Like, obviously, it's stylized. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like the structure of the head seems a bit off. Um, plus, it seems kind of small compared to the body. Like, especially if the hair wasn't there, it would. I feel like it will come across as kind of small, which seems weird compared considering the rest of the stylization seemed like it would be the kind of stylization that had like a bigger head. So eyes that size, I don't think there's much room for the other eye. Something like that. Yeah. Even though like the hair is gonna be covering the other eye, I'm still gonna draw it in so I can figure out the structure of the rest of the face. are one of the most important parts of the face so they're good to use as guidelines for the rest of it so like we can compare that to the body looks now also this kind of stylization the neck seems slightly too thick compared to how skinny the shoulders are One thing, like Yeah. I have a very much of a tilt going on here. Which can work fine, I guess it's just then the legs would be more like that. Or alternatively like foot should be more there. Like, when the hip is tilted like that, like usually that means this leg is standing straight and then the opposite legs is either bent or going more out to the side. But, uh, let's start from the top here. So we have this angle going out here. That seems a bit far out compared to the ribcage to the chest. Like, it I should probably. It. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna draw in the boobs afterwards. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, she does seem to be have a, this kind of a lean back. So. I mean, this is just how I draw guidelines. Like, I tend to do like this for like the stomach, and then I figure out where the hips go afterwards, you know, depending on how wide hips the character has, but something like this. But something like that. 
and now, and I wonder if it's, yeah, yeah, it, the pose is slightly unbalanced too, and if you're in doubt of that, it's a good thing to flip your cabinets, that's the easiest way to quickly figure out if your pose is unbalanced. Let's see. Basically, I'm um, trying to stabilize the pose a bit more. Like you can always exaggerate the pose more, but I'm I'm not gonna focus on that right now. Like I'm just, and then you probably. See. See a bit more of the shoulder there. Shoulder muscle. <laughs> I know muscle names. No. And then we have it here. And then now hands on the hips poses are tough. But I think I she actually managed to get it done pretty well. It's just like like I'm assuming the character have like human hands like they seem pretty human but like the I can't remember what it's called <laughs> is this the index finger or is it that that's whatever this finger is too long compared to the rest or the rest are too short oh well this finger is too short yeah when you have it coming out here like Usually the elbow is more like pointing towards you. I know this because I basically just had to draw a hand on the hips for my own stuff. But, uh, yeah. This is probably fine. Oh yeah, it's a good idea, at least in the sketch, to kind of get the joints in and like 3D. That's a good way to figure out their shape. I mean, I'm only drawing two joints here because it's more stylized. I needed to show more movement I could draw in the last joint. I mean, sometimes you can see the term thumb, but sometimes you can't. It's something like that. Yeah. Let's 
it to see. Yeah, see, mine still looks a bit unbalanced, so I probably need to move this legs even more backward just to get it a bit more balanced. Again, it's a it's, when you're drawing full body things and you want to get the pose balance, it's a, it's a good thing to flip the canvas. Very helpful. And you know, when things are loud, it's very easy to fix stuff like that. Especially in, when you're still in the sketching phase. You know, it's best to fix all those kind of problems at that stage. Of having you know this line going in there, having the top arm over them instead, probably. Since I made a bunch of changes, I'm just gonna Now I can't really see if the character has a nose because there's a hair standing in the way, but at least I'm just gonna quickly make some adjustments to the mouth. If anyone has any questions or want me to clarify stuff, Now the head is tilted slightly back, so it's a good idea to maybe give them out a slight curve this way, because you know. But you know, they just like kind of like to do that. I think the mouth in the mouth ends up a bit low on the face. It's And some lovely fangs. You love me some sharp teeth. Hello. Um, if you just arrived, like 
all this is gonna be recorded and, and I'm gonna put it up in YouTube if you missed the first bit. what I've done so far. <laughs> That's okay, like... But, um... No. But, uh, as I said, it's gonna be recorded so you can watch back what I had to say about this. Um... This is what I have so far. I think I'm just gonna quickly Throw on some clothes on the character, and then I'm gonna move on to the lighting. References and keeping the body underneath the clothes in mind. Like that's where I sketch out the full body, no matter what kind of clothing the character is wearing. Like even if they're wearing a long dress or something, you know, still sketch the legs. not to like overthink when you're doing clothing for because it can quickly just look weird.
<laughs> it's been fine. Just chilling. Working on some school stuff. Getting uh, a test, COVID test, because I'm missing my grandparents this weekend. Um. Yeah. But I think that's for anatomy. I mean, I would assume so. Like I barely go outside. It's just you know to be on the safe side. Let's move this over here, and then let's move on to the lighting. So, before I even started anything, I made some preparations. I separated the character from the background because I didn't. I thought it was be <laughs> pretty boring to see me just painstakingly select the character and cut it out. But lighting. Like the most important part or one of the most important things when shading and putting light on a character is keeping in mind where light is coming from. And in this image it seems like you're kinda not sure about that. Like, as far as I can tell from the image, pretty much all the light is coming from this glowing grass. But the character is not lit like that's the case. Like, you got this rim light that may suggest that the character is backlit. But then you also have some very strong highlights coming on the cheeks. I mean, it might be moonlight, but it's the same color as the lighting from the grass, so I'm just gonna... So, first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of get rid of this highlight. Also, bear in mind I'm not a painter, so. We also get rid of the highlights in the hair for at least tone them down for now. Basically I'm getting rid of highlights there facing upwards. Because I'm the way I'm gonna shade it is like the light is coming from the bottom all the way around. Like all of it is kinda you know coming up like that. Those are some awful arrows. <laughs> but yeah.
here once again. And now I'm gonna do the opposite. Adding light from every surface that's facing downwards. Again, because this is a fairly dark scene, you know, the light should be fairly dramatic. I wouldn't usually do this, but because this is a flat image, I'm just gonna try this thing out and see if it works. To just kind of love me. Nah. Probably need to be a bit softer than this, but it's a balance. Does they stick out? down here since it's just so much light coming from the bottom. Oh, that's bright when it's at the top of an old highlight. <laughs> Very messy, but I, I, I hope it gives gets the point across. Also, one thing more. I wonder if I can just.
But yeah, basically what I did was I just duplicated the layer below and set it to glow to, to get a bit more glow into these, this grass. I wonder if I can just... A bit more light. Oh, uh, one more thing with the background. Um, usually, with when you have a sky, even if it's a night sky, yeah. <laughs> um, usually with night skies, they're lighter at the bottom, even if it's night. Never mind then, so it's a, inside a glowing cave or something. Well, to be fair, it should probably still be a bit lighter because... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you got your glowing grass plant thingy going on. Since the original line is kind of blurred, then just uh, quickly blur this out. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, something like this, yeah. We still wonder if I can get a better color for the shadows. <laughs> Thank you.
guys ya Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, this is totally just gonna be my own personal preference. I just wanna make the smile a bit bigger. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do like <laughs> like drawing big smiles there. They're fun to draw, especially if it's a character with sharp teeth. Like, what's the point of them having sharp teeth in that if I'm not gonna show it off? Um. But yeah, I think, as I said, I think that's pretty much it. So, do you have any? Thing else you want me to address while we edit, or In that case, I think I'm gonna call this it for today. I'm gonna send you this uh, file so you have it to refer back to if you want to. And I'm gonna upload this whole stream to YouTube so you can. <laughs> You're welcome. So you can, well, again, watch the first part that you missed and just in general. If you want to refer back to it again. I watched the silhouette against the sunrise. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll be back another day with. Another stream. <laughs> bye bye.